Details coming up on Fox 5 Live. Plus, ask this guy where's the beef and he'll have quite an answer for you. Believe it or not, it's how New York eats. And the results of a new study are in and it doesn't look good for your skin. Former stripper John Lapine stuffs sausages for a living now, and his products are as fresh as his old clientele used to be. Well, Ed Levine shows us what a meat market it is out there in this week's New York Eats. He started out as a Chippendales dancer. It would be someone's birthday, and you bring them a cake and kind of dance around a little bit. And now John Lapine does a different kind of grinding. Every day we're in the kitchen making sausages and hot dogs and bacons. John and his family own the Empire Market in College Point, Queens. They do all the grinding and stuffing in this little kitchen in the back of the store using the freshest ingredients. I don't use any chemicals, no nitrates, no preservatives, and just try to make it the way that my grandfather used to make it. But times have changed since his grandfather's day. We always have to come up with new things and fresh sausages and chicken sausages and uh, things that 10 years ago people never heard of. But you can still get hot dogs and double smoked bacon made in the kitchen smokehouse and traditional sausages. It's a Hungarian sausage. It's 100% pork, but it's got a lot of garlic. Stuffing sausages is time consuming. John works up to 14 hours a day making sure his customers stay satisfied. I enjoy it. Uh, I get to chat with my customers. I, I like dealing with the public. But it's a different kind of public that comes to see him now. Women come to me now and they buy meat, and back then women used to go there to see meat. It was a, a whole different kind of thing, but um, it, it, it works, it works. That's the way New York eats. I'm Ed Levine, Fox News. Well, you get sausage and a little dance, too. If you want to sample the merchandise, that's the sausage, head on over to the Empire Market in College Point, Queens. Maria? So there is life after being a chip. <laughs> well, let's check in with Julie Golden right now. She's at the Transit Museum in Brooklyn. Hi, Julie. Anybody dancing around over there? Yeah, no dancing, <laughs> no, but 